bad shooting performance for us. Um, last days go on defense until we turn it around on the fourth quarter. Um, can't have slow starts like that. Um, something that our kids got to start understanding is, you know, if shots aren't falling, we got to play better defense. Um, defense has got to start being electrified by our offense as well. Um, play defense to get shots if shots aren't falling. Um, just limiting their shot attempts. Um, getting rebounds in the first half uh, really killed us, letting them get second chance points. And their, their paint points killed us. Um, let a kid go off that should never have gone off against us. Um, played pretty bad. She went six for six. Well done to her. Um, Got to play better help defense. Uh, slide over, communicate. Uh, I thought that was better in the second half um, towards the fourth quarter. Um, transition defense for us killed us very early. Um, if you don't match up, they're going to get easy attacks. Uh, paint touches were horrible for us. Uh, we let them get way too deep, and they just capitalized every single time they got in there. You mentioned the team's slow start offensively, and it was kind of a theme that carried through the rest of the game. It was a similar first quarter of play than that the last time that we saw LMU on the floor against Queens. However, in that game, it was a second quarter turnaround that allowed you guys to take the lead, and you were able to hold on to it from there. And it seemed that at times the team was getting good looks from the floor, and you just assumed at some point they were going to knock those down and, and make that second half run, and, and it just never happened. Talk about uh, the just the, just the inability to hit shots down the stretch for the team. That's just a lack of kids not getting into the gym. Open shots are there. Everybody knows it. Um, if you go back to another game, virus, and we're being consistent and we're knocking down shots, it's a completely different ball game. When you shoot the basketball 19 for 63, so 30.2%, you're not going to win ball games. Um, but on a positive, when you lose by 10 points and you have a poor shooting night, it's, it's promising. It gives us a lot of hope and a lot of promise that we can compete once we knock down shots. You just got to get in the gym. Um, day in, day out, uh, long break, um, lacks of days ago. Um, it was bad. Uh, it showed early. Just got to turn it up. We got to find some way to click. Um, we've always started down this whole season. Um, so our early mishaps and lacks of days ago, offense and defense need to pick up. We need to start games better. You mentioned that one of the high points of the team was despite their poor shooting performance that they did only fall by 10. And that's a number that could have been less had it not been for the free throws down the stretch from Lenore Ryan. And I think another thing that helped the Lincoln Memorial tonight was the fact that you did force 20 turnovers uh, from Lenore Ryan. And I believe that turned into 19 points in the other way. And that's a, a, an aspect that this team does very well is that while they may cough the ball up sometimes themselves, they do force almost just as many turnovers. Um, I think we did a good job um, with our turnovers tonight. Um, 13. Uh, best of the season, if I'm not mistaken. If I know stats, lot, stats right. 20 for them. Uh, we got to capitalize a little bit better. Um, proud that we're not turning the ball over. This was the best performance in my eyes that when teams were trapping us, we were poised. We'd step through and make good passes, make good decisions. Now we got to execute. Now we got to make layups. Now we got to freaking get rebounds. <laughs> Limited, limiting them to less shots is going to be key for us. I told them, if you go back to our stat line and you look at it correctly, teams that score above 70 win ball games against us right now. It's true. Every game we've won, we've held teams lower than 70. That's what we got to do. Our defense has to be better. Simple. Transition defense has to be better. If we want to be able to compete with the top levels in this conference, we have to get better. If you would talk about the play of Sidney Newsom uh, today coming off the bench. He gave the team a little bit of a spark there in the second quarter, got to the free throw line uh, very often uh, throughout the game. And she's a player that has had to battle through injuries uh, throughout the majority of her career and uh, was one of the biggest uh, was the biggest scoring productions for Lincoln today. Um, I think she did a great job coming off the bench, um, giving us a little bit of leadership, you know, being able to know when to flash in that 2-3 zone, where to flash. <laughs> Also, just defensively, I think that she, which I would not like her to do, let me just say this, she gives up her body for this team. She slides over and takes charges more than we have on this floor. And despite her injury, she doesn't care. That shows a lot of poise from that kid. It shows a lot of passion and desire to play this game for this LME program. Um, we need more kids like that uh, to slide over and take charges. Um, other than that, yeah, I thought she did pretty good. The loss for the team tonight drops LMU back down to 500 with four wins and four losses, and it's a quick 
non-conference detour, if you will, this coming weekend on Saturday, just, uh, just two full days of rest uh, before heading to Limestone on Saturday. It's a 2 p.m. start, so what would the pregame preparation look like for that matchup? Tomorrow, um, film. Uh, this is team's very quick, um, more guards than post. Uh, they were going to try to run it down our throats. Uh, so we have to start penetration better. We have to stop them early. That being help. So watch film tomorrow um, on them, on us from today to just teach, prepare, get better. And then hit the road on Friday. Um, go practice at their place, get used to their rims, not have a poor shooting night <laughs> like we did tonight. And uh, yeah, let's go home. I had a Christmas break with the win. That's the goal.